वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द पद्मा शो हमारे जो तीन सेगमेंट्स हैं हैव बिकम एन इंस्टेंट हिट एट ऑल द हाउस होल्ड्स आउट देयर एंड स्पेशली हमारा जो पहला सेगमेंट है व्हिच इज क्विक कुकिंग हैज बिकम वेरी फेमस एंड ऑल द मदर्स आर एंशियस टू नो कि आज हमारे शेफ हमें क्या दिखाने वाले हैं सो वी थॉट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस वेलकम आवर शेफ शेफ डेविड फ्रॉम रेडिसन ब्लू देयर आर ऑन टू आवर शो शेफ Welcome to our show. Hi Badman ji, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. You know you're an instant hit out there with all the mothers and they're all wanting to see art aap hame kya dikhane wale ho. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. So today I'm going to show you a simple recipe which uh, children and uh, even uh, families or everyone can try. Okay. Uh, the name of the dish is chili paneer. I'm sure this is going to be very interesting for us to see. Yeah. So initial step, I am going to cut the paneer into cubes. Now we are going to make the batter out of it. Okay. I'm going to add five flour spoons number of one. flour number one and two teaspoons of corn flour inside. Okay. This corn flour is added for the crispiness. Yes, you're right. Exactly. Okay. So salt and pepper as per your seasoning. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to add ginger and chopped garlic. Yeah now I'm going to add water inside and just mix it up to get a thick batter out of it So the batter is ready here so I'm a little bit I'm going to add some fresh pepper here and salt also on the top of the paneer just I'm going to toss it a little bit with my hand and I'm going to add inside the batter Now we are going to fry the paneer. That's it. That's it. Okay. So paneer is ready we are going to make now the sauce base sauce for this one so let's cut our vegetables okay yeah just um, we are going to cut in cubes of this ones so basically we cut them all in equal shapes so the look is very nice exactly yeah chili you can go a little bit uh, lengthwise you can say as a, a julienne okay so you can you can bite it here and there So mm. the taste will be the few people doesn't like so we can remove it also. Yeah, so okay. I want to keep a little bit chunky. Mm. Even the spring onion also you can go a little bit of uh, lengthwise. So vegetables are ready. You okay. can start cook it. Oil on the pan. It's really hot now. Exactly. You can It's fine. I'm going to add the vegetable for first. Okay. Yeah. Inside the fish also. white onions it's done almost now you can add the ginger and garlic which is the key uh, ingredients to get the flavor okay so you can add 1 1 teaspoon of ginger and garlic inside Now we can add the paneer inside. Okay. Now uh, we are going to uh, toss it with the sauces, other sauces. Just to be, I can go for two chili teaspoons sauce. of everything. Okay. Yeah. Depending on how spicy yeah, you exactly, want it. Exactly. Yeah. Kashmiri chili basically it give good color. Okay. And. vinegar to get the acid taste for the dishes okay i saw everything you put two two spoons and vinegar was yeah, like vinegar, what yeah vinegar it will be too short when you add the acidic taste will be hitting on your mouth i okay. want to reduce that one okay you're right um, i'm adding two spoons of everything yeah except the vinegar now i'm going to add little water water inside very little and i'm going to add some corn flour inside 
So better to mix it with water. It will give thickness to the dish. Hmm. So this will be kind of a gravy kind of a dish, is it? Yeah, not really. It's going to oh. be like a semi gravy. Okay. So the final step, I'm going to add uh, the corn flour, which is be diluted. Okay. I like seasoning. Again, I want to finish with some pepper and some salt inside. My dish is almost ready. So your seasoning looks more like an Indian dish. Yes, I want to add some spring onion on the top. There's no need to overcook the spring onions. Just when you buy it, you will get the nice spell, the taste of it. This is now onion. looking very beautiful. A lot of glossy finish yeah. it has got there. Thank you so much. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah. Uh, I want to present in a plate. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, garnish with some more spring onions. Okay. So it looks good. My dish is ready. It looks very, very, very delicious. I mean, I love the glossy finish on that. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. Indo Chinese chili paneer is going to be an instant recipe for you all to try at home. And this definitely looks very delicious. So thank you so much, Chef. This was very, very, very interesting. Thank you. And we'll catch you soon with another interesting recipe. Till then, you'll stay tuned because you'll come back again with healthy living. Surat Boutique presents The Dream Collection A Dancer's Comfort Padma Show. This is Padma here with you with yet another interesting segment. In the first segment, we saw healthy cooking, healthy living, and now we are here at the Tumbe Hospital, Dubai, with Dr. Chandrakant Patil, who is an ENT specialist. I am sure all of you at home have a lot of questions on cough, fever, sinus, a lot of things, and here he is going to explain to us everything about sinus, sinusitis, and something called as FES. Dr. Chandrakant Patil has 20 years of experience as an ENT specialist with 20 publications under his name. What more could be a better person to explain to us about the whole thing? Welcome, Doctor, to our show. Mm -hmm. It's great to have you here. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, we got to know that you're a specialist in ENT. Yes. And uh, the most common uh, question that arises in everybody's mind and people who talk about often is something called as sinus. Yes. Right? Yeah. But chon se leke, badon tak, 
कुछ भी होता है लाइक कोल्ड है फीवर है हेड है पहली बात जो उनके मन में आता है शायद ये साइनस हो सकता है इफ यू कुड लेट अस नो दैट इज दिस अ मिथ और इज इट लाइक समथिंग रियली रिलेटेड टू साइनस साइनस इज आर नथिंग बट दे आर द एम्प्टी स्पेसेस इनसाइड योर फेशियल बोन्स ओके व्हिच आर लाइन बाय अ कवरिंग कॉल्ड एज म्यूकोसल कवरिंग एंड इट इज वेल कनेक्टेड टू द नेजल कैविटी दैट्स व्हाई इट इज एप्टली कॉल्ड एज पैरानेजल साइनसेस दैट मींस Around the nose, you have empty spaces inside the facial bones, which are called as paranasal sinuses. And since they are connected to the nose, any nasal infection is going to get into the sinus, and it causes sinusitis. Okay. So yes, whenever you get cold, there are chances that you might get sinusitis. Right. And one more thing, which generally goes under the contention, that one time you are diagnosed with sinus, the whole life you are going to come back to you. Is that also like something a myth or is that like uh, true? Because I know a lot of people uh, they say like you know अरे यार मैं बाल बढ़ा नहीं सकती क्योंकि मुझे sinus आ जाता है. So before answering your question, I just like to explain you what is sinusitis and then we'll I will ask your answer your question. A sinusitis is a sinus infection. It can be acute or chronic. Okay. So what do you mean by acute infection? Acute infection means when the infection lasts less than four week. It is acute infection. Okay. But when the infection lasts more than twelve weeks, it becomes chronic. Hmm. So if the infection is lasting for more than twelve weeks and it is happening recurrent, it is a chronic sinusitis. Okay. So I am partly answering your question that once you get sinus, you might hold it for life long. Okay. If if the cause of sinusitis is, is like that, hmm. it is said now that. the most common cause for the acute sinusitis is common cold hmm. but for chronic sinusitis the most common cause is allergic rhinitis okay and you know allergy is a immunological response given by the body hmm. so once the patient is having allergy it is a lifelong phenomenon hmm. so if you are having allergy you might have the predisposing factor for the sinusitis and you might have the recurrent sinus infection for lifelong if you are not treated the allergic rhinitis if you are not allergic now what happens like uh, is this going to be affected the immune system also because allergy has to be treated yeah definitely definitely uh, right yeah. so let's say like if the antibiotic is stop and then the sinus uh, recurring is going to be more frequent mm-hmm. are we talking something like that yeah, yeah. definitely see first of all i should clear that antibiotic is not the solution for each and every sinusitis hmm. that's why you must evaluate yourself if you are having the recurrent symptoms of a cold a recurrent symptoms of running nose hmm. or itching of the nose or itching in the back of the throat or if you are having a post nasal drip that means you are feeling that something is coming from your nose hmm. these are the symptoms of the sinusitis or if you are feeling the pressure inside your uh, face hmm. or headache recurrent headache hmm. all these goes towards the sinusitis hmm. might be the chronic sinusitis okay and in which condition allergy might be the important factor hmm. which is predisposing the chronic sinusitis so as allergy is related to the immunological condition that means it is a immune response of your mm. body it must be treated by a different medicines than the antibiotic okay. in short as you said antibiotic is not the solution for the mm. all sinus infection it should be properly diagnosed and treated well before you uh, go for the treatment mm. so tell me doctor if suppose a patient is coming to you and you identify this person has sinus okay. or sinusitis what would be the mode of treatment like what uh, the patient has to do or yeah. what the hospital will guide the patient definitely first before going for the treatment of sinusitis one must have the proper diagnosis or uh, diagnosis by the ent person mm. so the patient should approach to the doctor especially the ent specialist uh, to get diagnosed whether he is suffering from the sinusitis or it is else because mm. most of the symptoms of common cold they overlap with the symptoms of acute sinusitis uh, i'll have to actually ask you a question here doctor like suppose if i am from having cough cold or fever uh, or any other person is having the first doctor that we approach is a gp yeah <clears throat> at what stage will i know that this i should not be approaching the gp mm-hmm. but i should be going to an ent specialist yeah definitely there is a phenomenon called as watchful waiting okay every common cold mostly which is a viral etiology will be responded by your body's immunity and it will be uh, cured of its own with minimal treatment that mm. is we call it as symptomatic treatment mm. that is called as watchful waiting okay if the patient symptom persist mm. more than that mm. and that period is usually 7 to 10 days okay so if the symptoms persist or if the severity of the symptoms increases or if there are all added symptoms like purulent discharge from the nose or back of the nose mm. or headache or nasal blockage 
then we should suspect that you got sinusitis and then you should approach to the ENT. That was a very important information, Dr. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And is there any age uh, criteria like when this sinus will come? Like, can you come to children? Yes, yes. And like even a newborn? or like... Definitely, definitely. Okay. Uh, sinusitis can happen at all ages mm. okay because uh, they are uh, near to the no nasal cavity whenever you get nose infection or mm. whenever you get common cold you are prone to develop the sinusitis that's why in newer terms it is called as rhino sinusitis mm. so whenever you are having cold you are prone for the sinus infection so you know even the neonates even the infants that is newborn babies mm. they can catch cold so they can have sinus infection and uh... Tumbe Hospital Dubai, you being the specialist. Thank you. Um, you take care of infants also. Yeah, definitely. How yeah. does your treatment vary from an infant to a elderly person? Definitely. Uh, in children's, um, uh, we treat uh, the common cold or nasal infection as early as possible so that they should not go to the uh, level of sinus infection because uh, antibiotics at that age group Mm. for a long duration because yeah. when the infection goes in a sinus you have to take the antibiotic if it is poor one sinusitis mm. so antibiotic at the early age is not good for the children so early diagnosis and prompt treatment is the key in the neonates and infant mm. as far as adults are concerned the treatment varies depending upon the type, type of sinusitis the type, the how whether it is acute it or chronic, chronic. Is, yeah. and depending upon the findings in the uh, various tests let's assume a child has sinusitis yeah Okay, but the parents are not aware of this. Because what is always happening that it's cold, it's flu, it's one drop, it's one drop, after two, three days yes, the yes. child cures and then they go back to normal life. Yes. Right? Now, what stage is like if the parent can recognize that this guy or the child has sinusitis and that they have to reach to the doctor. Right? Because not all codes come for seven days. Yes. Three days come, two days are okay, again they come back after two or three days. Yes, yes. And 90% of them they are treated for common cold. Yes, yes. See, in children, the symptomatology differs from the adult. Hmm. If the child is having recurrent cough or fever or post nasal drip or nose block, hmm. we should suspect that he is having sinusitis. Okay. In children, the important predisposing factor or the factor or the cause that causes the sinusitis are the adenoids or the tonsils. Okay. Uh, these are the lymphoid tissue inside the oral cavity and nasopharynx. Hmm. So we have to rule out that also, whether okay. the child is having adenoid or tonsillar hypertrophy, hmm. which can predispose the recurrent sinusitis. So in that patient needs to be able or children needs to be able to by ENT that they will look for the adenoids or they will look for the tonsils. And hmm. if that is the factor, we need to treat that. Otherwise, patient will have recurrent sinus So infection. basically then we will tell the audience that like if your child like cold or fever is there recurrent, recurrent yes. and it's coming uh, with very short intervals then you really need to go and meet e the ENT e e yes. at the earliest. Because not only sinusitis, mm. uh, they need to be able to rule out for the uh, presence of adenoids and tonsils okay. which is important cause for the ear, nose, throat infection in the children. Mm. Not only sinus, ear infection also, recurrent ear infection is also the source from the tonsils and adenoids. Okay. Mm. okay. So that needs to be uh, ruled out and that will be ruled out by the ENT. Mm. Definitely. And uh, also doctor, we've heard something called uh, FES. Yeah. If you could uh, enlighten our audience about this. Yeah, FACE is nothing but is a short form of functional endoscopic sinus surgery, which is the important treatment modality for the uh, recurrent sinusitis or the chronic sinusitis. Okay. It is endoscopic surgery of the sinuses. This is a recent uh, invention and with the invention of this FESS, functional endoscopic sinus surgery, the old traditional surgical treatment which used to done over the face by ugly scar, okay. that is not there now. This is minimal invasive surgery. Hmm. That means we are doing the surgery of sinus from inside the nose with the help of endoscope. Okay. So it is a minimal invasive surgery without damaging your face, one important thing. And secondly, as you are seeing through the endoscope directly inside the sinus, hmm. the clearance of the disease with less or minimal complication is the key of endoscopic sinus surgery. So we are uh, a team of Thumbi Hospital Dubai, we are doing endoscopic sinus surgery regularly here okay. and successfully. So not every case of sinusitis will uh, require endoscopic sinus surgery. Definitely there are some indications. So we will not subject all the patients of sinusitis for the endoscopic sinus surgery. There are a few indications and if the patient fits into that indication, we offer surgical. And is this covered by the insurance? Yeah, definitely. Okay, it is fine. That is yeah, very yeah, important yeah. for us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that was a wonderful session we had with Dr. Chandrakant Patil from Tumbai Hospital, Dubai. 
he told us a lot of things about sinus and sinusitis which we might not be aware of so next week we are going to meet another doctor from the same hospital with another speciality so stay tuned for the next segment where hum log abhi gharelu nuske pe jayenge yes there are treatments which are going to be happening officially there are treatments that are available right at our home which is going to be very easy for us instant remedies so stay tuned because the third segment is going to be very interesting too Surat Boutique presents The Dream Collection A Tanzas Comfort वेलकम बैक टू द पद्मा शो हम लोग पहुंच गए हैं अपने तीसरे सेगमेंट में जो है घरेलू नुस्खे आज जो जिसके बारे में मैं बात करने वाली हूं इट इज समथिंग दैट नो बडी एवर थिंक्स अबाउट अगर ब्यूटी टिप्स है पीपल थिंक द फेस द आईज द नोज द लिप्स द हेयर बट एक और चीज़ है विच मैटर्स अ लॉट इन योर ब्यूटी सेशन इन योर हेल्थ एंड फिटनेस और उसके बारे में आज हम लोग बात करेंगे भाग्या कैन यू टेक अ वाइल्ड गेस हम लोग किसके बारे में बात करने वाले हैं समथिंग रिलेटेड टू स्किन ओके स्किन इज अ वेरी वाइड सेगमेंट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई वॉन्ट यू टू फ्रीज इन ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन नो सॉरी मतलब क्या इम्पोर्टेंट हो सकता है ओके आई गिव यू अ स्मॉल क्लू जी आप किसी से मिलते हो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वो डू यू डू ग्रीट हाउ बाई शेकिंग हैंड तो वट आर यू गोइंग टॉक अबाउट हैंड ओके सो दैट इज द पॉइंट तो इस बार ना भाग्य आई हैव नॉट गिवन यू दर्चुनिटी ऑफ कॉलिंग अ गेस्ट क्योंकि मैंने खुद बुला लिया है अपने एक प्यारी सी दोस्त को हुज हियर एंड शी हैज टू नो हाउ टू कीप अर हैंड लुक वेरी ब्यूटिफुल So without waiting let's invite Anshu with us great Hi Hi Bagya this is Anshu okay one of my very dear friends aur Anshu ka kya hai na idhar se idhar tak she takes so good care of herself oh she is gorgeous she, yeah that's why she's looking so pretty but idhar se idhar se niche hmm. she is not even bothered haath kaise bhi ho paon kaise bhi ho She does not even bother. So I keep telling her, Anshu, you should look good Jee. from top to bottom. When I say looking good, audience, को ये नहीं लगना चाहिए कि it should look pretty, it should look gorgeous, it should look neat and healthy. That is what I say when I say you should look good, right? So आज भागिया हम लोग Anshu को दिखाएंगे कि हाथों को कैसे neat और healthy maintain कर सकते हैं. और इसके लिए हम लोग use करेंगे हमारी exfoliator, घरेलू नुस्खा वाला exfoliator. You know what are the items, right? Yes. Coffee powder, honey, yeah, sugar, yeah, and rice powder. Rice powder. So, we will mix it. Yes. Right. By the time I mix, you will have to be ready to put the whole apron on. Yes. 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 
So Bhagya, just to enlighten our audience once again, if you'll repeat what has gone into this. Yeah, it was uh, the same amount of rice powder and uh, sugar. Yeah. And the same amount of honey. Honey. Plus a little bit of coffee. Yes, and coffee acts as an exfoliator. Ji. All right. हाँ बागिया देखो दिस इज़ द कंसिस्टेंसी दैट वी शुड बी लुकिंग एट थोड़ा लाइट ऐसा लगाओ ऑल राइट सी एंड दैट्स द स्क्रब कैन यू सी द थिकनिंग या इजीली अवेलेबल आप देखो शो दर हैंड ऑल राइट कुछ ज़्यादा टाइम लगे लगेगा बैठे बैठे कीप वाचिंग एक पूरा सीरियल खत्म होने तक दोनों हाथ खत्म हो जाएगा कैन यू सी हाउ इट्स थिकनिंग या कितना पतला सा थिंग कितना थिकनिंग हो रहा है जी एंड दिस इज व्हाट एक्चुअली एक्सफोलिएट्स वंस इट स्टार्ट थिकनिंग दैट मींस योर स्किन इज गेटिंग एक्सफोलिएटेड तो ऐसा आप करो 5 10 मिनट आराम से बैठ के कीप डूइंग दिस द मोमेंट यू फाइंड इट्स बिकमिंग मोर थिक थोड़ा और ऐसा थोड़ा सा टेक अनदर डैश एंड स्टार्ट अप्लाई Yeah, and see, it's changing the color. I mean, it is exactly. dark brown, and it turns yeah. into the white one. So, up, ऐसे करती है, and after five ten minutes, you can go and wash it off with warm water. Okay, that's it. Then your hands are going to look looking very, very, very pretty, soft. But no, if warm water से ये चला जाएगा, या you have to put a soap or something because no need. it's honey. No need. Warm water is more than enough. ओके या वॉम वाटर से आप वॉश कर दे इट्स गोइंग लुक वेरी प्रिटी अभी बाग गया आठ मिनट तो हो गए होंगे आराम से राइट तो अभी आई आई एम शुर यू आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू सी कि क्या हुआ है नीचे राइट यस तो लेट्स गो हैव अ क्विक वॉश ऑफ द हेड या या एंड विल कम बैक एंड विल सी द इफेक्ट पद्मा लुक एट द डिफरेंस इस हाथ पे आपने किया है एंड दिस वाज द बिफोर सो ये बिफोर ये आफ्टर एग्जैक्टली और ये टच करके देखो बाग गया जस्ट फील इट जी इतना सॉफ्ट है ये कॉफी पाउडर राइस पाउडर शुगर एंड हनी नेचुरल इंग्रेडिएंट्स सो आप रोज कर सकते हो यू कैन एक्सफोलिएट यू कैन पैम्पर योर स्किन दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू नीड टू डू एंड आई एम श्योर अंशु अभी सीख गई होगी कि टू टेक केयर ऑफ हैंड्स इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लेट मी टेल द ऑडियंस आप लोग यही एक्सफोलिएटर यू कैन यूज इट ऑन योर लेग्स आल्सो ओनली थिंग बिफोर डूइंग इट ऑन योर लेग्स कीप योर लेग्स इन हॉट वाटर फॉर एटलीस्ट 10 15 मिनट्स उसके बाद ये एक्सफोलिएटर यूज करो बिकॉज़ लेग्स टेक अ लॉन्गर टाइम टू क्लीन अप ओके सो बागिया हाउ वाज द होल थिंग हाउ वाज योर एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट दिस माय गॉड दैट वाज वंडरफुल कोई है जिनकी यू नो हैंड की स्किन थोड़ी डार्कर है then your face skin this is really helpful exactly it is hmm? a cleansing treatment. cleansing but yeah, exactly yeah ultimately it lightens your skin tone exactly so, because it removes all the clear, dead cells yeah. and all that right exactly yeah so i hope aap logon ko bhi ye bahut pasand aa gaya hoga ki kaise hum log gharelu nuskhon se jo cheeze ghar pe par hol milti hain unse we are going to make ourselves look very beautiful The next week we are going to come back with another nuska. Again, we are going to hit the kitchen, everybody's kitchen. और बहुत सारे चीजें हैं हमारे किचन में हम लोग जो यूज कर सकते हैं. And that brings us to the end of this episode where we saw a lovely, healthy cooking, a beautiful discussion with a doctor, and of course what we witnessed now was amazing. So I'll catch you soon in another episode of the Padma Show. Till then, this is Padma signing off. <laughs>